This is looking at a Worcester Green Star Camera Utility 1825. Uh, this is an oil um, fire boiler. Um, the situation is as such. Um, the oil has run out and the boiler has gone into lockout. And the lockout light is just down here. Um, and you can see that all that's happening is it's uh, lighting up um, every time the boiler tries to fire. So, there are a couple of stages to this. So the first thing we do is inside here, we have to um, turn this valve off. So that's a 90 degree clockwise turn to turn it off. Um, and then once that's turned off, we need to disconnect this, which you'll probably need to do by bracing this with a second spanner and turning this with the first. Um, once this pipe is removed, uh, we then get a length of hose and you connect the hose onto the brass part here and that pushes on um, and you can then suck the oil through um, through the pipe uh, until it's flowing. Now before you start sucking obviously make sure that you loosen this valve here and turn it 90 degrees anti-clockwise so that it's in that position as you're seeing it there. That is in the open position. So you suck through the pipe just gently until you can hear the oil just starting to come into the, into the hose uh, and once you've got oil in the hose then you close this off again so a 90 degree clockwise turn to, to, to seal it off. You can then remove your hose, you'll need to put something underneath it to catch the residual oil um, but uh, once you take the hose off um, you can then put this flexible pipe back on in the reverse way that you did uh, you took it off. So once that's done, you then open the valve back up again so that it's in this position and it all looks as it does right now. Um, at this point, um, you will need to take the cowling off. Now there are normally two screws, I've already removed them. But there's one down here and there's one in there. And once, once those two screws are removed, the cowling basically just lifts off like so. Once the cowling is removed, you will see this behind it. Um, now, the key things that we need to be concerned with here are this. So this is the uh, lockout reset button. Um, and this one here, this is the uh, bleed valve, air bleed valve. So, um, first thing we need to do is by getting a little Allen key uh, and inserting it in there. And we, we just loosen it off a few turns. Um, and what will happen is... Um, this will uh, allow, when the pump runs, the air will be expelled through this, uh, through this bleed valve. So once we've loosened this off a couple of turns, we then push the reset button, uh, and it will go through its sequence. It will leave, the fan will expel up through the, um, through the pipe here, um, and, uh, and then it will start the pump to run. And what will happen is, at this point, it's a good idea to put something underneath to, to catch the oil because the oil will drip out of here eventually. So a little tray or something underneath there uh, just to catch anything coming out. Um, but what will happen when the pump starts to run, this will bubble, uh, you'll get bubbles coming out of here and eventually you, you should get um, a little stream of oil just coming out of here uh, once the air has been expelled. As soon as you see the stream of oil, you can tighten this back up again and, you, and once that's tight, um, the boiler should uh, already be firing up actually during that process. If it doesn't go straight away, um, there may be some more air in the system. So um, wait a couple of minutes, push the reset button again with the valve open, uh, and again wait until the oil starts to sort of stream out fairly rapidly. Um, and as soon as you see that rapid stream of oil, tighten off the nut here, uh, which is the little Allen key inside, um, and uh, and then press the button if it's not already fired up. But as you can see, the boiler is now all running and uh, whirring away, um, and the problem is solved.